Hi there, it is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Ordinarily, I'd begin every episode with a good day to you, one and all, but it's not a good day, it's a sad day today, because, uh, as I'm sure some of you are already aware, unfortunately, Jeff Beck passed away yesterday, so um, uh, today's episode is in tribute to Jeff Beck. Justin Hawkins Rides Again Yeah, so Jeff Beck has died at the age of 78. Um, his death was confirmed on his official Twitter page. Um, and it said, On behalf of his family, it is with deep and profound sadness that we share the news of Jeff Beck's passing. After suddenly contracting bacterial meningitis, he peacefully passed away yesterday. His family asked for privacy while they processed this tremendous loss. Um, I heard about this because uh, around about midnight last night, I received a, a, an email from... Um, somebody at BBC's Newsnight asking me to remark on it. And of course, I hadn't heard that he'd passed away. So yet again, a journalist told me, <laughs> a journalist uh, reaching out for some salacious, uh, I don't know, I think they were doing, on, on Newsnight, on Newsnight they were doing a tribute to Jeff Beck and they wanted me to contribute to it. And I didn't tend to um, take part in the, um, you know, obit type broadcasting that, that arises when somebody passes away I just don't, don't think it's my place to do that really but it's important to do it here on the um, on my channel um, Jeff rose to fame as part of the Yardbirds where he replaced Eric Clapton before forming the Jeff Beck group with Rod Stewart um, he redefined guitar music in the 60s and influenced movements like heavy metal jazz rock and even punk um, he ranked in the top five of Rolling Stone and other magazines list of 100 greatest guitarists um, yeah I'd put him number one I've always said that and I've talked about Jeff Beck a couple of times before on this channel and um, one reason being that he performed and, rec and he he played one of my favorite guitar solos ever which is the hybrid slide solo in um, uh, John Bon Jovi's uh, Young Guns 2 soundtrack song and um, Blaze of Glory it's an unbelievable solo and, and obviously had to be him that does it <laughs> I also think he's responsible for the, the gargle when you have a strat and then you strike the um, wang limb and then, and then it wobbles like that and so the, the note goes, it seems to have a gargle. I think he's the inventor of that. Um, anyway, according to musicologist and historian Bob Guller, Beck is credited for popular, popularising the use of audio feedback and distortion in rock guitar. He probably didn't invent it, but he popularised it. I thought that the Kinks invented that, but, uh, you know, he was the guy that made everyone else want to do it. Um, speaking when he was inducted uh, to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for the second time in 2009, he said, I play the way I do because it allows me to come up with the sickest sounds possible. What's, uh, that's the point now, isn't it? I don't care about the rules. In fact, if I don't break the rules at least 10 times in every song, then I'm not doing my job properly. Amazing. So Jeff Beck, um, we, I've met him a few times. Um, he came with um, Jim Moir, also known as Vic Reeves, um, to see, he came to see The Darkness uh, around about 2003 and was awesome company. He's a really hilarious guy to hang out with. Um, and, I, and I met him again a few times um, later, but like when we were touring with um, Johnny Depp's band, uh, Johnny Depp and Alice Cooper's band, the Hollywood Vampires. And you know, when you go on tour, you sort of, the main act and the support act, which was us, don't, don't generally tend to sort of interact that often i mean if you if you know what you're doing and you're like a support band you keep out of the main attractions way because they've got other things to think about and you don't want to be going oh can i have your autograph please johnny oh i love your movies or going hey alice brilliant are you really any good at golf or you know they don't want people doing that so you try and keep out of the way really um but on, i think jeff beck came to see the show at uh, Manchester Arena and he was in our dressing room because he knows Rufus really well. Rufus used to actually, Rufus is the drummer of the darkness, he used to play with Jeff. Um, so Jeff Beck was hanging out with us and then suddenly <laughs> all of the Hollywood vampires were in our dressing room and everybody was sort of hanging out together and it was Jeff that brought us together. Um, the, the really funny part of that story is that um, I think Jeff Beck was a huge influence on uh, um, Joe Perry who was, who's in the Hollywood vampires as well. and. And I could sense that there was like um, 
it added a, a certain sort of frisson of nerves to to um, you know to um, Joe Perry's performance that night. You know, he was definitely aware that Jeff Beck was there and he wanted to be the best Joe Perry he could be. Um, but, <laughs> but at the end of the show, when after all the sort of you know the after show and everything we were walking out with Jeff and um, we saw the Hollywood Vampires two of us leaving and Jeff Beck who at the time was a 75 year old man took his trousers down and displayed his buttocks to uh, the passing tour bus it was an amazing moment I mean like right up to then he was so funny and so so rock and roll and just so brilliant um, and Rod Stewart wrote in response to the news, Jeff Beck was on another planet. He took me and Ronnie Wood to the USA in the late 60s and in his band, and in his band, uh, the Jeff Beck Group, and we haven't looked back since. He was one of the few guitarists that when playing live would actually listen to me sing and respond. Jeff, you were the greatest, my man. Thank you for everything. R.I.P. Jimmy Page paid tribute to Jeff Beck as the six-stringed warrior and praised his apparently limitless musical imagination, which could channel music from the ethereal, or from the ethereal, from the ether, ethereal, from the ethereal. Yeah, lovely tributes and a really, really sad day. So I urge you to listen to the music of Jeff Beck today. Um, go for the album Blow by Blow, um, which is him reinventing the guitar basically in the year 1975 which is of course the year i was born brilliant year for music and uh, not least because of uh, you know blow by blow um check out uh, his work on the young guns 2 soundtrack um and just look for anything really try and find some live stuff and see what he was like i've seen him live a few times and it was it was amazing like the way the way he he's the one of the most expressive strat men that there's ever been really and it's a sad loss. Um, I'd put him number one greatest guitar players of all time. And, and also, don't forget that Jeff Beck's uh, personality and um, visage and hairstyle and everything was parodied by um, Christopher Guest when he was uh, when he was um, doing uh, Nigel Tufnell in This Is Spinal Tap. That's actually all based on Jeff Beck. He, uh, Jeff Beck was one of the people that was was somewhat upset about that because it was so close to the bone and it was so obviously inspired by him. Um, so yeah, he's clearly a man of immense charisma and uh, a sad, sad day. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news if you hadn't heard already, um, but let's celebrate the extraordinary life and achievements of the greatest guitar player that ever walked the earth, Jeff Beck. Rest in peace. Uh, see you on the other side. Lots of love to you. Justin Hawkins writes again Again Do yourselves a favour, familiarise yourself with the catalogue of Jeff Beck. Thanks a million, and uh, see you on the ice. Cheers.